and dragonfly okay that's all I will say for now dragonfly you have to watch the video if you want to have an update on what is dragonfly hello guys welcome to my channel Daniel here and I have Cosmo and Vector by the way my Cosmo in case you guys the first time you watch this video one of my videos on my channel I have the special edition and some people always confuse they think I have two vectors but no special edition liquid metal and he uh, called it this was like now almost five years ago so DDL gave us a webinar they do every three months this was October 28th and they gave an update on overdrive butter robot Cosmo 2.0 and vector 2.0 I took pictures to show you because um, you can still view this in a few days I think or a couple of weeks on the DDL website but I want to give you more information um, I listened to the webinar it's about an hour I take some notes as you can see here and I'm going to show you some slides not all of them like I said you can uh, look at that later on but this was the first uh, slide here the state of robotics October 2021 I like the title very much the state of robotics yeah I think I like that now you can see here the agenda like I said overdrive butter robot and so on and dragonfly okay that's all I will say for now dragonfly you have to watch the video if you want to have an update on what is dragonfly overdrive looking at my notes they remove the apps they have some work to do uh, they're going to design new cars there's apparently a kit you can uh, upgrade existing cars because again if you don't know about overdrive what DDL is trying to do is come up with what they call the infinity drive where you are going to race your car and on a special track the car will charge as you go above that track for like half a second so the car needs an upgrade there is the charging coils that will charge the battery as you drive and um, I have an overdrive and this was the main problem you would race for like not very long I think it was like I think it's about 10 or 12 minutes and then you have to stop and then you have to charge the cars that takes about 15 minutes so that was a bit of a pain the other good thing or the big news about overdrive is AR this is a good example and I did a video about that it's more like more than two years ago now there was a developer I believe in Hong Kong who came up with an app where you could race and you would see AR like you would see a volcano and I did that this is my playlist in my uh, overdrive playlist you would see a volcano with lava in the middle of the racetrack the racetrack that was amazing so DDL is working on AR in the overdrive app that is good news now butter robot uh, let me check my notes three things they are putting more powerful motors which is a good thing because you'll see pictures here of the robot it's big it's about this it's about this high they're putting more powerful motors because they did some testing with what they thought would work and it's not working also the center of gravity is too high and it's a problem for stability you have most of the weight in butter robot is in the head which is about at this height very unstable so they are working on improving the stability and um, butter robot is special it's very different from Cosmo and Vector you can have like a different interaction more like a natural interaction I don't know how they're going to pull this off you need a powerful processor to have an AI with a robot uh, anyway I'm not sure and then they gave a uh, oh before I show the manufacturing update these are pictures here that they showed of the robot and actually it was a short video and you can see that on their uh, uh, once they publish the webinar and the last slide on butter robot here and I want to stress that do not expect butter robot 
soon okay they are still in the testing phase and i think they were talking fall of 2022 for butter robot so about a year uh, from now now vector they briefly talked about vector 1.8 because we had a recent um, firmware update and i did a video about that there is now a slider on the, in the app where you can change the color of uh, vector's eye to a very precise uh, color they also talked about the vector membership perks you can see in the slide here you can get some priority support and some discount they're still working on the escape pod and uh, they get a chart here i'm going to show that briefly of the perks you can expect if uh, you have like a monthly subscription or an annual subscription and uh, vector oskr they talked about oskr they showed a couple of slides which i'm not going to show here because to most of you i think 95 percent of you guys are not interested in uh, oskr so i'm going to go quickly here uh, there are they have a repair center where they can actually repair screens the battery uh, replacement and also do some cleaning and uh, they showed uh, oh sorry vector 2.0 improvements one thing that is major they had problems with the two megapixel camera okay they wanted to up the upgrade the camera in vector and uh, they had problems with that so they are upgrading the camera from 2.0 to 5.0 or 5 megapixels they talked about the packaging design also I have a picture to show you and uh, because it's been so long to get vector they're going to cover shipping costs for pre-orders which is uh, good news this is a picture of the packaging here apparently it's the final packaging details for vector 2.0 and the manufacturing update and as you can see and like I said a few weeks ago uh, DDL is now in the production stage for Vector 2.0 and uh, finally Cosmo and this is the last item on the agenda before I talk about Dragonfly now Cosmo they talked about the app which they did an update recently first time in my opinion I think they talked about Cos Cosmonaut uh, classroom coding curriculum so it looks like DDL is going to push uh, uh, Cosmo in the classrooms for coding and I did so many videos on coding with code lab on Cosmo it's in my playlist I did games I even did the rock paper scissors I coded that for Cosmo and I'm showing the code also in one of my uh, videos uh, they talked about the repair center same as vector for screen replacement battery replacement and cleaning and uh, they talked about some improvements but not in details uh, in case you don't know again uh, the existing Cosmo is a little smaller than Vector when you look at them side by side there's a slight difference the new Cosmo 2.0 will be the same size which is the right thing to do to share components so same size and then they talked about uh, packaging and they showed the picture final packaging for Cosmo nice and the manufacturing update and like I said again a couple of weeks ago or a few weeks ago we are now in the manufacturing stage for Cosmo 2.0 now for Vector before I talked about Dragonfly which is the next slide let me just look here for Vector they said that they would ship around Christmas 2021 but they said worst case scenario before Valentine's Day okay so February 14 so you may get guys your vector 2.0 if you pre-ordered early in 2022 and it will be available vector in stores only in the fall of 2022 so I believe Amazon will have it in the fall of 2022 and I think it's the same for uh, Cosmo let me double check my notes here uh, yeah it seems to be the same for Cosmo unless I did not write that down uh, correctly uh, yes same thing now Dragonfly who is Dragonfly 
Dragonfly is a well-known manufacturer of drones. They make special drones, special application drones. Unless I'm mistaken, I think they made drones in the past and maybe even today for the police. I think. I'm quite sure they did. Because I saw a few years ago uh, here in Canada for our police, I saw a drone and I'm sure it was built by Dragonfly. Um, so the idea here, and, and DDL showed only one slide for Dragonfly. So what they said is that they will have something to show in the winter of 2022. Interesting. They said, or they acknowledged, that they don't have the expertise to build a drone. A drone is a very different business. You know what happened to GoPro. It's difficult to design a drone and be successful. So GoPro had to back up after spending millions of dollars uh, for the Karma, the Karma drone. Fortunately, I did not buy one. I was about to, but I didn't. Uh, I fly a lot of drones. You probably saw that on my channel. Uh, there's one here that I built many years ago because I thought that DJI, the Phantom 1 at the time, was too small and I wanted to carry a DSLR, you know, a big it's a, it's a heavy camera, so I made that drone over there. So the idea here is that uh, Dragonfly will design a drone uh, for a DDL that is apparently based on a vector. So a flying vector. They did say, I think I heard AI, like an AI drone. I'm not totally sure what that means because the drone, as some of you know, the drone business is highly regulated. In Canada, in the US, in many countries, in Europe also, you cannot just go fly a drone and, and do AI and, and your drone flies by itself. That's not legal. You have to control your drone all the time. Uh, or if you do uh, pre-programming GPS flights, I think you can in some countries, but you have to have visual line of sight to your drone. Okay. So that kinds of limit what you can do in terms of autonomous flight. So I'm not sure what DDL meant by that, but it will be interesting to see. And uh, they will have something to show us in the winter of 2022. So that is excellent. And if you are wondering if you can pre-order in a few months this new flying uh, robot, Apparently, again, it's going to look like a vector. I'm not totally sure, but you cannot pre-order. Uh, DDL is going away from that model. I guess they didn't like the experience with Vector and Cosmo. So you won't be able to pre-order uh, a, a drone, a flying uh, robot. Uh, not now. You'll have to wait when it's ready to be shipped. So guys, this is the update on overdrive butter robot cosmo vector and this flying drone which i cannot wait to see so as always if you have any questions let me know uh, this whole presentation with all the slides will be available uh, on the ddl website of course so in a few probably a couple of weeks you'll be able to go and have a look but let me know if you have any uh, questions and I'll do my best to try to find the answer. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. Goodbye.